What is going on, everybody? We are back with the panel slash Marvel Media Podcast. I am Pound. And I am Slash. And Slash we are told me something funny today. <laughs> finally back. We're back. After with snow and vacations and everything, we're back. We're here. The last episode of The Inhumans. Well, the last three episodes of The Inhumans. Six through eight. Um, in terms of any kind of news that we got, we don't really have any other than the new uh, Ant-Man trailer dropped. I have not watched it. He has not watched it. You I should, won't. You should watch it, and he won't watch it, but you should watch it. Though. There's no reason to watch it, because I'm going to go watch the movie. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's fucking cool. Watch watch it. I don't I care. I want no spoilers. That's why I have not watched it. It's got me None. hyped than ever now. I'm hyped as shit. Um, but yeah. So, this episode we're going to talk about, so it's the last three episodes of, um, Inhumans. Yeah, and then we have uh, to pick from that thing. Which are the best three episodes. Yeah, they're, the all, they're, all, they're not bad. Damn shame we got to wait till four, or, or, yeah, four episodes to get to them. But yeah, what, five episodes? Five yeah, episodes. Five episodes to get to them, so, yeah. Um, not that bad. So, episode six is titled, The Gentleman's Name is Gorgon. Mm-hmm. And I have written down, Tybor and crew attempt to kill Maximus and fail miserably. Very fail. The royal family gets Crystal back, all while oh. Karnak and Gorgon put a stop to the strike force, and Gorgon sacrifices his own life to save everyone by bringing the building down on him and Mortis. Which, I didn't like that. I didn't like the um, Gorgon ending, sacrifice himself. I don't either. Okay. Well, okay, we can real. Okay, there we go. I must at least agree on that one, at least. I... There was no reason why he had to sacrifice himself. There we go. Okay, there we go. See, we can agree on some shit here. Let's go. The moment he... The, the moment Mortis started to reach for his mask, he just should have fucking stomped and got the fuck out of there. Yeah. Yeah, or, he, or at least opinion. get out. But no, he's like, I can do this. I'm like, or I can sacrifice something. I'm like, why? Why are you doing this? You don't have to. You don't actually have to do Who wrote this? I forgot. <laughs> a, a, B, C. Well, here we go. I can't say that either. Oh, no. Wait. When... Because they also did Agent Carter. Agent Carter. Fuck. They also did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, I, I was just so mad when that happened. I said, who wrote this shit? Because this was a bad... That was that... Just that ending. Just that last part right there was just awful. Everything else was okay. That right there was just awful. That was just... Um, the acting in this was also really well done. Yeah. Uh, we, this is also the same episode the Doctor finds out for the first time who Maximus really is. Right. Um, and gets kind of annoyed. Yeah, because he didn't want to harm anyone. He was legit just trying to study in humans. He's a he's a doctor. He was curious. Right. He, I think the way I think the way he went about it was bad though. In a way, because he was like, I, I'm. It's like I'm. A, I'm a heavier fan, but getting kind of weird with it now, buddy. <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to help and learn Maximus and all that. And, my, and I'm gonna say this too, um, Medusa. You know she don't have her hair. She's not. She's doing. Okay, I think probably okay. Better acting than majority like of it, them. As long actually. as as long as she's not fighting, yeah, that she, fighting her ahead. acting is perfectly fine. It's the moment she starts throwing hands. Yeah, that that, that fighting that, can go to hell. Actually, way to hell. She's terrible at action scenes. Um, well, every, we saw that in like the <laughs> everybody <laughs> else is pretty solid except for except for the worst actor in this entire thing is the Hawaiian guy. That's also an inhuman. Oh shit! Um, um, Sammy. Sam. Is that his name Sammy? And I hate the way he runs. <laughs> and how they edit his run looks like how they edit the drop kick in She Hulk. I was like, Yo, so you guys went to the um film and went to them? Ah oh, shit! Y'all both work together in that bitch. Okay, that's what's up. But yeah, um, his acting's pretty terrible. So I'm not a freak. No, dude, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm not a freak. What, what are you, DC? <laughs> I just... Right. <laughs> Somebody's just... What are you, part of DC? I was going to say, if they took that... that you know what? This one probably got 9 out of 10. If just, what are you, part of the DCEU? Mother... <laughs> That's that thing. Go over there if you want to be a freak. We are happy with where we're at, buddy. <laughs> so level... Level 7. Episode 7. No, no, no. no we're keeping that level 7. No. <laughs> Episode 7. Look, he looks so tired. Why do you look so tired? It's called for? Havoc in the Hidden Land. And what I have written down here is Maximus tricks mm-hmm. the royal family into handing over the scientist. Which that's funny as hell how he did it. I find that funny. Black Bolt threatens him for his deceit. 
Karnak wants to raise Gorgon from the dead using a second Terragenesis. Which I thought that was kind of... I thought it was kind of stupid, but you might have it. Black, Black Bolt tells him no. You're right. Does it anyway. Does it anyway. What? Hey, where's the... Barely convinced. <laughs> Chris, Crystal misses Dave, who, by the way, is the Johnny Storm representation in the story. Because yep. for those of you that don't know in the comics, mm. the first person she ever falls in love with in the comics is the Human Torch. Right. Right. Okay. Um, Triton captures Maximus and puts him in a secret bunker Which, with where Blackout. the fuck has Triton been at, man? Triton, I swear, Triton... Oh, they rescued him in, uh, episode six. Right, right. I thought he died. I was like, Everybody oh, did. He, bro, what? And he came back. I said, oh, that's it was a good. It was a good bait. It was a good bait. Yeah, I got, got that right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought he didn't make it. And then... Uh, da, 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 evil revived... Oh, the evil... <laughs> that's right. Um, revived Gorgon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The, who yeah. wakes up at the end of the episode after mm-hmm. going through the second Terra Genesis is about to run amok, and that's how the actual episode ends. You know what? If the next episode, I know it's the final episode, but if that episode where it started with just, just Gorgon just start ripping the sh- shit out of any human people, I'm like, yo! Well, one, that would never happen. I know it would a, never happen. It's ABC. Yeah, well, I was going to say, yeah. Um, ABC's all, yeah. PC. But the episode did start off with him destroying a bunch of shit. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't think he was going to, yeah, I knew he was going to destroy shit. I just wanted him to be like, yeah, this is it. This is what we wanted, guys. This is, this, this, this is it, right? No? Okay. So, mm. um, one moment specifically that I wanted to talk about in this episode that had me rolling. There's a moment where... Medusa and Black Bolt are kind of having an argument. Right, because cause that's what he... he because she yeah. wants included on the decisions being made. Right, she was, she was included. Or it, it excluded out, yeah. Because she's not liking how Black Bolt's handling a few of the things. Right. He's very tyrannical. Tyrannic, tyrannical? Tyrannical? He's like, like a tyrant. Right. Like a tyrant. Running things kind of well, like yeah, a tyrant. He wants, yeah. He really wants that throne bag. Um... And he's looking at the throne more right. than the people. And right. that's where her problem's starting to come out. I find it funny, because it's like, yo, you married him. You knew what you was about to get yourself into, lady. No, no, they were teenagers. He wasn't like that as a teenager. Things change, man. Yeah, after they were married. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's how life normally goes. Well, that, that, that motherfucker, that motherfucker must have so, basically run his people. Like, no, he never did. They, but, make that, they make that very clear I throughout the show. He was a slave. Like enslaved them, I thought. No. Black Bolt never wanted to be king. To begin with. Huh. That's not what I was getting from that. I mean, he wanted to actually just enslave him. He said it himself. I'm not saying even, like, no, I'm saying, like, now, now that when everything was coming out, I'm thinking, like, well. No, he didn't want to enslave his people. Right, no, I'm not saying, no, if I'm anything, saying, like, now, like, that, this moment right here, when they were having that little issue, I was like, well, does he want to enslave his people? No, no, no. Um, he's wanting to just take the throne back. Okay, well, that's what his focus was on the throne. That's how I was thinking, but like, not the people. Oh, okay, I'm thinking like, okay, he's just <laughs> getting kind of like, well, like I said, a tyrant. I'm just like, well, does he just not give a damn? Oh, I mean, I'm not saying, well, that's what I'm saying, does he not give a damn about his own people. Um, that's what I was kind of getting from this whole situation here. No, I'm not saying right. back then. Yeah, he was peaceful and changing. Now I'm saying like now this moment. Because Medusa is literally falling by even the fact that what well, we get to about the killing Max is like, please don't do it. Well, yeah, she doesn't. She her whole thing is she wants to let uh, there be a due process, right? And not just go in and executing. Because that's literally which he wants to just go in and execute. It. I was ready. I was hoping. I really was, my man. I was um, sir. But my favorite moment. So they're having this little right. argument, and there's a part where <clears throat> the doctor is standing next to Karnak. Right, and he says something along the lines of like, "Oh man, it doesn't look like they're getting along very well." And Karnak looks over at him and says, "Now might be a good time to take a vow of silence." Yeah, because you're you you, you still you're a human, and homie. Yeah, you, in man. the moment, it is the funniest thing I think I had heard anyone say the entire show. Just because of how everything was shaping up and how everything was going on, I lost my shit. I legit laughed out loud at my computer desk mm-hmm. at work while I was watching it. That's that's. It was fucking hilarious, right? Because he, because I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> he really tried to, man. Like, 
Yeah, they 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 got Rocky Lacia. Don't 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 get involved. <laughs> Black Bolt will completely stop. Boom! Oh my God! Black, did he just turn to ash? Like what happened to him? He just he dipped out. <laughs> right. Wow, Silas. Hell no. Nah. Car Car with the words, man. I, I give you that one, bro. Oh man! But yeah, um, again, it, there was actually quite a bit of action in this one. Um, the yeah. fight where Triton basically takes out all of Triton the security. Him. Yeah, Triton became a threat. He was basically like one of the assassins in Assassin's Creed, dude, ducking and dodging through the crowds and stabbing the security and taking them out. I was like, he just did Assassin's Creed three out here. Like he went and stab, stab, move, stab, stab. But yeah, so he he did all that. That, that was super dope. Um. Like I said, these last three episodes were actually pretty full with a lot of energy and yeah, you can, action. And it's the same that as the last three fucking episodes, right. though. Which is kind of depressing. I was like, damn. Where uh, was this all my life? Like, this is what I wanted. Episode eight was titled, and finally, <laughs> Black Bolt. Right. Uh, Gorgon's now insane, but Karnak pledges to help him. Aron turns her back on Maximus as the royal family. Which we knew that was coming. Helps the people in Atalanta escape. Because Maximus was losing his mind. As they all leave to Earth, Black Bolt stays back and confronts... Basically, and I didn't write this down in the in any of the descriptions either. Maximus right. has set it up to where the shield on the moon is going to basically disappear and destroy Adelan. Yeah, he has like a... Um, yeah. If he doesn't touch a thing within a certain amount of time. Right. And that was his last spell episode because they... Because they all like are like surrounded him. Then yeah, right. they surrounded him. And he's decided that the destruction of Adelan is more important than giving up the throne. Which is I, damn. All right, that's what I um, thought at that point. I thought Maximus was kind of cool. I said, damn. I swear, I, I I thought that was a a G move. I'm sorry. He'd say, I'd rather blow up the whole city than as, I have it all. As everybody leaves for Earth, Black Bolt stays back and confronts Maximus, who reveals it was him. Yep. Who forged the document that made Black Bolt mad enough to accidentally kill, kill his, his parents. parents? Exactly. Um, Black Bolt punches him in the face, drags him into the bunker while he's been not while he's knocked out. Um, and I was right. I said, and then basically locks him in the bunker. And I was like, okay, with the food. Yay! And goes. Memory does and, the, the the voice to shatter that bitch too. So I was like, oh. He says goodbye, brother, which destroys the entrance. Of the, of the bunker, and leaves Maximus in there with a lifetime's worth of food by Man, himself. That's, that's cool. So, yeah, he said the the food would be there forever and ever and ever. You'd just be alone, and I was like, that's depressing. Um, and then he goes to Earth to begin leading them for season two. Oh, wait a minute, there wasn't a season two. <laughs> I was like, that's, I remember reading an article. Somebody said, I would like to go back to this. No, you don't. Don't do this. <laughs> Let's not do this. This is why MCU took over everything right now. Well, I, I, took over everything. I think they could have honestly taken these exact same people. No, you still keep the cast, yeah. And just pick up with se where season two left off and just make it good. Okay. Okay. Um, If they were to do that, I don't think they will. No. Uh, I think if we get in humans, it'll be a completely different cast. I, like I said, um, I had said this, I think, in an earlier podcast, um, but one of the things that just... Again, um, it really feels like they focused on the Inhumans because they had they at the time didn't have access to the mutants, and they had begun basically. Yeah, first was supposed to have been a movie, right? They began blackballing the um, X Men, the X Men comics, and, and, and literally stuff. even like the like the latest poster they had before they brought them back, literally didn't even have the X Men in there. I said, "Whoa, they got it that bad!" Right. So they were basically stopped doing stopped that, doing and, and even Fantastic Four for that matter. Right. Um, Fox was yeah, it was because Fox stingy. wasn't wasn't playing ball. Nope. Um, that was crazy. But then stuff. this bombed. Disney bought Fox, so now they have the X Men again. Right. And now they're so focused on the X Men, I don't think they'll bring the, the, the they're they're staying away from the Inhumans so much so that Miss Marvel, yeah, isn't even an Inhuman. Human, she's being human. she's a mutant she's in the MCU. Mutant, right. So they've completely given up on the Inhumans, or any idea of Inhumans. Even the chick even went toe to toe with Kevin Feige. I said, well, she's about to lose her job because she's like, well, all because of a lockjaw. She wants a lockjaw uh, toy in the, in the series. And they were, and Kevin Feige was like, no, like, like they weren't having that. 
don't think there was a lot because I, I don't. And it's, and it's that's how I was watching. I don't remember seeing that in her bag. She, she was wanting to be somewhat kind of tied to this, and Kevin Feige wasn't having. Remember, that's what all the articles was like. Well, they're going back and forth because I'm like, this little girl is literally trying to go against Kevin Feige. You know, he had a Terminator. He will get you erased out this bitch. Stop playing. Stop playing. This is Kevin Feige. This is what you saw in She-Hulk. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop. Right. <laughs> this is your money right now. <laughs> no, but, actually, Kevin Feige loved it. He loved that she battled with him on it. Yeah. Oh, she did? Oh, okay. Huh. Mm-hmm. Because it shows that she has a passion and a love for the thing that she's going to be portraying. Even though now they still went with the, still the story of her being a mute. I mean, they might change it, but who knows? They won't. Ooh, um, right. So, that also brings me to my next thing. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Black Bolt was in Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, and whatever. What earth was that? Do we think... Yeah. If we're going to say, if let's be realistic, because of the multiverse, everything Marvel has ever done is canon in the MCU. Everything. In some way, shape, or form, they're just in different universes. Would you want to say that this version of the Inhumans is in the same universe as the Black Bolt that we've seen in Multiverse of Madness? Yes and no, in a way. Because that could be a whole nother Black Bolt altogether. I don't think it is because he never wore, he never wore that costume. He never wore that costume, but. and that was the very comic book accurate. That's the thing; they would make them look comic book accurate. They would they would do it. They would do this thing so well, man. It's a bummer. Like they had him look legitly and like Lockjaw the was so adorable. Lockjaw was probably it was the only CGI they gave a fuck about, right? And everything else, and even then, he still looked out of place sometimes. But for the most part, I mean, he looked like a giant fucking dog. I where I think this 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 where I think this show failed, to oh, be honest. Yeah, too many good ones. Never mind it. Is I mean, look, Agent Shield. That was like that's it, her season. The first thing that killed it is it came out during a time where everything else that was running TV show wise was doing amazing. This came out amidst all of the Netflix shows that were going on. They just Cause this, Defenders. Because this came out the same season, or the same year Defenders came out. Let's be real. The only Netflix show that failed up to that point was Luke, not Luke Cage, um, Iron, Iron Fist. Because really, Defenders, I thought. And I liked Iron Fist. I, I thought, I thought I Defenders, liked Defenders was good. I liked Defenders. Defenders was done really well, too. But it came out at the same time, like, Defenders was dropping. Um, Agent Carter was getting a second season. Nah, Agent Carter, I think, was already done. Oh, was that? okay, okay, okay. I want to say I think it was already done. Um, I think Agents of Shield they were they were doing their fourth Agents one? of Shield was running. they were going to future after their sixth or seventh or whatever, but they were still getting the which it's weird though because they were throwing the Inhumans out there, right? That that's what was so it what this actually should have been a landslide, man. I don't know what happened. Agent, Agent Carter only ran one season. Oh, I thought they or, two. No, season two. Two was, seasons. No, the two seasons. Uh, Agent Carter ended in 2016. So when did, and he was came out, what, 20, 2017. 2017. So okay. it came out the year after. Year after. Okay. Um, but it's... This should have been a landslide, man. I don't know what... I, I don't know what happened. I don't know, man. Don't I also f- think... So here's the thing. If you remember, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that'd be f- season five. Five, okay. So that was when they were getting into. When they just started getting in? No. Into. Uh, I, Not I, space yet. I don't think space yet. Not I yet. think they were just starting to get into. I, wasn't that the season they finally killed Grant? He became the hive. Oh, and um, I could woman, be wrong. And the woman got sent to the monolith, which took her into whatever that little weird right. ass area was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that could be the season. And Quake that was there. just dipped out, and that they were that was the search of finding Quake, which we got to find out she was in the human. Which there you go. Like I feel like this could. I don't know, man. Well, they were set. They were going to try and cross this over with yeah. what was going on over in um, Agents of Shield at some point. Uh, they even announced that early on, even before the season even came out. They said eventually their goal was to start combining these stories. Um, I just don't understand, man. Like this, this Daredevil is... season three, which was the last season, was coming out that oh, year. Man, that was a good. As one. well as Punisher was starting that year. Yeah, that was a good one too. God damn, man. Punisher season one, Iron Fist season one was that year because that that came out the same year as the Defenders. So, I mean, there was a lot. Runaways was still having 
Yeah, yeah. I like that finding season, success. That's season one. I, I go like, season one of Runaways was good. And Two, that, that's just what I'm looking at here. Right. But so, I mean... Runaways season one was, was okay. I give it. I give whatever this came from. Um, and this isn't even including whatever movies were coming out that year. Oh, dear. Because you said 2016? Oh, 2017. Was 2017? Was that Civil War? No, it wasn't. Was it Civil War? Was that um, the time of Civil War coming out? No Black Panther came out in 2018. Doctor Strange? No, it was Doctor no. Strange. It would have been Doctor Strange. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Doctor Strange came out. Okay. Right. I'm trying to think. What the hell came out? Doctor no, Str- Doctor Strange was 2016 as well. And this came out 2017, so what? Was it Guardians? No. Um, no, that's 2014. Hold up. Yeah, right. I'll look that up. What is MCU's 2017? Because that's like... Because that also was killing too. Thor Ragnarok. Oh. <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, no. Yeah. Logan, which was an MCU. Nope. But Logan came out yeah. that year. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume, Volume 2. Volume 2. Damn. Yeah, no. It, it is. It just... So here's the thing. It's the worst Marvel property that released in 2017. And to be fair, it was the worst. Unfortunately, Marvel property that came sad, out in 2017. Was. Like I looked at all the reviews, people said they couldn't get past after, season, after two episodes. They got to the third one, they were done. They didn't even try to finish it. Well, the biggest problem, they cut Medusa's hair because yeah. they didn't want to pay for the CGI. That is the only reason. It didn't really fit the narrative of the story. All it did was give Black Bolt a reason to be mad towards the end when he finally reunites with her, and even then she was like, "Don't worry about it." Yeah. So really. The only reason she lost her hair was because they didn't want to pay for it. This was also the end of the time that the original group that was running the MCU started to all get fired or left. If you remember, there was an original group. This was, this was right before Kevin Feige stepped in and took completely over. Yeah, I think I'm... Like, took solely, sole solely charge of everything. Because we didn't have really... Nobody. Kevin Feige was there, but he didn't say, well, guys, I'm stepping in. Hello. Hello. I'm taking over because we, we didn't really have a group to like go back to. Every time. 2018 right, is when he fully took over. No, 2019 was when he fully took over for Marvel Entertainment. He was there. He, If I remember correctly, he had just gotten in to the MCU situation in 20, late 20... 2011? 20, uh, he'd been there for for a while but he wasn't the head right um and then because they had like they had a group of people that were running things right and making decisions um and then eventually they bring in like other directors here and there and all people that, yeah. uh, people would either get fired or they would leave to go do something else because they didn't like the decisions that were being made <laughs> like and um, right <laughs> and then eventually kevin feige just he got he given the reins um but yeah, they didn't want to spend the money to animate things. Obviously, there were people that didn't take the time to train. Some of the worst acting I've seen was also at the end of this, of this series. Yeah. Here's the thing: the last three episodes, in my opinion, are the best three episodes of the entire, entire show. This is not really saying but much. But when Gorgon comes back to life, his acting oh, yeah. becomes terrible. He's supposed to be this. Almost zombified character. Oh no! Yeah, I saw that. And yeah, he portrays that. it so, so poorly. poorly. Ah, like, what the hell is happening? What am I look? And it's like, what am I? Like, am I supposed to be scared about that? And, or about that? Like, and he'd killed it up to this point. Like he'd been fine. Yes. It said that he died. And I said, well, he died. I guess that died with him. <laughs> and, you know, his acting died with him. I guess. But at the end of the day, I am really bummed. Personally, that they won't give the Inhumans a chance. I really think if they did it correctly, people would love the Inhumans. I think they won't touch, like. Inhumans but I feel like, like the like first, years, the, yeah. this one season of Inhumans failed so bad that Kevin is afraid to go back to it. So afraid that he won't even let Miss Marvel be an Inhuman. And then on top of that, he we probably won't touch Inhumans to what twenty fifty out this bitch, and when it's all said and done, twenty. Um, because that's 
<laughs> We're gonna be in our 50, 60. They is just in, in humans. I'm like, what? <laughs> It's gonna be thirty years down the line in this bitch. It's gonna that's what it's gonna be. It's like when we're fifty, sixty years old, dude, I'm gonna be fifty in about twelve years. Yep. I'm gonna be forty. I'm gonna be forty and ten. Yeah. Yeah. We're all gonna be in uh, applesauce. 13, Thirteen years. We're all gonna, both of us gonna be in applesauce in the goddamn retirement home out here. Let's do it. Discuss and we still gonna come back to this podcast with the wheelchair. Young yo, remember the day they said in humans? Yeah, they brought it back. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm bummed that they won't. Yeah, they ain't gonna touch they, it. They, they've pretty much just given up on it. Now, with that being said, though, um, da, 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 da. we gotta switch screens. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do this. Do, 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 do. My turn now. I guess. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, it's more for time. Let's do it. What do you give in humans, Ralph? I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna. Give, I'm gonna give it a, a five. I'm gonna say four. I'll give it a five. I'm, I'm, gonna, be, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be polite. I'm gonna be respectful. I'm gonna give it a five. I am. Like, yeah. What are you gonna give it? Because like I said, you you seem to enjoy it more than I did, though. I am also gonna give it a five. Okay. See, look. Bam. There we go. Because. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was average. It was. It was. It was, which, was. Or it was there. It was just there. Which puts it at a C for us. Yep. It's Ranked a C. right there with Superhero Squad Show. Yeah. 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 Which again, I feel like a lot of things should be moved around at this point after seeing how we have everything ranked here. <laughs> a little weird. I think the only time we moved was was uh, Venom. Let there be carnage. Because as soon as we saw Doctor Strange, we was done. No, Spider- but Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man or whatever. There is no more Inhumans. Well, there's there's one more thing involving the Inhumans that we get to watch at some point. But As far as anything And what else. that means, Ralphus, it's your turn. Are you ready? No. What are you going to draw? Which Spider-Man property are we going to get to watch this time? Uh, so if it's Spectacular Spider-Man. Because that's uh, all your fingers seem to touch. If we get Spectacular Spider-Man, I'm going to like, I'm going to heaven. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I know every episode. I don't need to watch. We can discuss that right now. <laughs> we can put, forget sleep. We will discuss the first season right now. Look, Nick's like, I gotta watch though. No, you don't. I'll help you. <laughs> I help, bro. I'll what are you help talking you. about? If we, I said if we pull a spectacular Spider Man, we, we can go ahead and just start. We can record that right now, actually. Reach in there. Oh, I gotta read. Oh, damn, let's go ahead to me. All right, hold up. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm roll that bitch. Roll that bitch. Okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna get one. I'm getting one. I'm getting one. Hold up. Feel the energy. Okay. All right. You make sure you only got one. Yeah, I got one. Got one. Drum roll. Yeah, Ralph, yeah. what are we watching next? I don't know. I'm trying to open my hand. <laughs> X-Men Evolution Season How? 2. How? How do you keep drawing this dumbass show? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's my shit. That's gonna be ten out of ten. Cause let me tell you something. Fuck whatever he about to say. <laughs> and let me tell. You, let me tell you. I love season one. I like season this, one. This is the first show we've now watched. Gotten the second season before. Let's go. I'm ready for this shit. Another. Let's go. I don't. I don't you know what? We can start recording now. Two I don't even need to watch that. Either. I know that. I know that. Two out of ten. Two. two out of ten. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Two out of ten. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. Oh yeah, all day, all day. I, the average is up to a five. And he he gonna dissect that bitch too. And I know he is. I'm like, yo, those are my best parts. <laughs> Let's go. I get the. No, I actually liked the way it ended last time. Even though he it called had, it, it actually had a strong ending. Even though he called the uh, mystique a. Uh, <laughs> what did you call it? A LGBT? Uh, probably a. Oh. <laughs> LGBTQ plus mascot. Because the way they put her, oh my god! <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah, how did I do that? I tell you, I, I got the spirit figure. It was, going, it was either going to how be how many seasons of this show is there? It was like four. Was it three or four? Three or four, I believe. Because one has apocalypse in it, like their version of apocalypse. Uh, no, I just kicked the see. mic. My bad. My foot just kicked the mic. Yeah, watch yourself. Oh, I'll make you redraw. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look. 
No, watch, me, watch me pull out season three. There are four seasons. I'm going to pull out season three of X-Men Evolution. I'm not even putting season three back in there until the box is empty. Fuck that. Fuck. He said he ain't, he ain't taking chances right now. How many, now, how many episodes is this show, though? Was it like 15? 10 or 15? Like, is it really that many? Yeah. Um... How many episodes is X Men? Don't keep redrawing and being like, "Oh, we could be doing this." You're safe. You move the damn box. <laughs> well, how about you, draw what, what, what? No, you ain't gonna draw either. You drew. I got you. Uh, <laughs> season two. That was like ten. Why does it say season two is one episode? You're full of shit. <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> oh, somebody's trolling. Somebody didn't like the. Somebody don't like the show like you did. It's just one episode. No, it's fucking not. No, it's not. Whoever said that is lying to you. Seventeen. Oh, okay. Right, I thought it was fifteen. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Because you know what? Season one was cold. So they said, hey, greenlit that bitch for another one. Hey, what Doc, what, what DJ Kelly said? Another one, bro. <laughs> another one. Let's let's drop another one on that sucker. Let's go. I'm hype. I'm good. This looks I'm, like trash. This is a good day. I'm hype. We did so bad. We went from fucking Inhumans to a good show. Yo, this is about to be lit. Let's go. Because season one was okay. But season two, you're introducing, like, more people in this bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. All right, so. I we'll think be, Iceman's about to get introduced in here. We'll be covering, wasn't Iceman in season one? Not as much, but this time they're about to introduce, like, more, like, mm -hmm. into the school depth of it. Beast is about to get introduced in this bitch. Let's go. Let's go. We got Beast in here. Let's go. This man is way too excited about this lame-ass cartoon. Fuck off, right. bro. This is about to be great. <laughs> Look, because let me tell you something. When we pull that 1996 Spider-Man, I'm going to be very, very depressed. I loved it, but I didn't like, like, I, like, I like Spider-Man like that. Or or no, we pulled the X-Men. The X-Men. Uh, it was cool, but it wasn't my favorite. Hold on! It was cool. It was my favorite. You didn't like the one that actually had legit storylines? This has a storyline! Barely! That's because they're in high school, you bastard. <laughs> yeah! The X Men are not good as children. That was my childhood. Look, see, look, see, 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 this is the conflict. We both, we both Fuck have. them kids. <laughs> look, he, he ran that bitch back and he said, you know what? Go ahead, Rob, redraw again. No, we're going to redraw again. Yeah, like I said, the last few episodes were really good of season one. Um, I don't know how we're going to split up the episodes. We're only going to do four a week. Yeah, so. four a week, yeah. Uh, we'll probably so what we'll do is we'll probably s one week we'll have to do five at some point right because we're only really riding the Ant-Man with that are we we're close to it uh, well, we'll be doing Ant-Man in between it at right. some point okay. and um but yeah uh, one 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 week specifically at some point we'll we may do the first week it may be the last week I don't know okay. but we're gonna have to cover four episodes or five episodes one week and I'll let you know what week that is cool um, fuck. I'm so hyped for this shit. I'm, I'm like, yeah, to at least somebody else. I'm about to go get some Seven Up today. <laughs> I'm about to go straight to a gas station. Let's go. I'm about to pull up at a BP. Be like, they look at me like I don't give a shit. I don't care. I just pulled X Men, the best X Men. Fuck, fuck. What are we about to talk about? <laughs> Whatever. Ninety two X Men is way better. Wolverine actually sounds like a menace instead of like some redneck ass. What are you doing? I just realized your yep. cat started the shit out of me. I looked in the mirror and I almost had a jump scare. I almost knocked all your shit over and I went to pay for everything. <gasps> I'm out. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Anyways. I no, I'm not as me. bummed as I make it sound like. No, no. I, 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 well, I'm not. I'm not too high. I am high, but I'm not that high. I'm just tired. Oh, but I you super high. Oh, you already know, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, he said. He, when I told him about '92, he said, "What, Ralph? Really? Huh? Locking a locked door? What'd you say about X Men again? Hold on, no, no it's no. okay to have incorrect opinions. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. 
All right, so X Men Evolution season two. I thought I pulled your X. I swear to God, I was like, yo, and that's all. And that's the E. Oh my God, let's go. How the fuck have you? I I pulled the first season of this. Yeah, but I pulled the second. Now you're pulling the second. Crazy. Yeah, you pulled the very first one, uh, the very first season. That's crazy. Look at that. We ready? Let's Wasn't go. this the first show that we covered? Well, I gotta After go back for real, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I think it was. I meant or not first. Falcon and Winter. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier was the first show we covered. But I mean, in terms of what we drew from the box, I'm pretty sure this was the first thing that was drawn. And I could probably go I back. I could and be rock. wrong because we did what 100 of these. I could probably go back and probably we see what almost 100. Is. Almost 100. Like I could probably go back and see which one's the first TV show we ever drawn. I, I could probably look at it, but that might be one of the first ones. But alright, guys, that is gonna do it. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Um, I had a blast. I had a blast. No, I, humans is over. Woo! That weight is off our shoulders. And now you got more weight to go. On to the next one. Yeah, we're about to put a whole tree branch on that back, bro. <laughs> there you go. Here, catch this tree, bro. Like, <laughs> we talking about you drew it. Hey, I love my shit. Hey, hey, I. <laughs> you look what about the yo? Let's go. In fact, let's go ahead and watch seventeen episodes right now. Let's go oh. ahead. Let's go ahead. Come on. I'm come, good. Come on. Don't be a wussy. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it. We will see you guys next week with uh, the first four or five episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. We love y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Excelsior. Excelsior. Go watch Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah. It's yeah, it still got like three weeks. Calm down. I'm hyped for that too. I'm like hyped for it so much. I'm too hyped. See y'all next time. Too much hype. Ant Man and Wasp and X Evolution. What's next? Am I going to grow more inches on my foot? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>